Hello, hello, my beloveds. So today I have another very easy boy hairstyle. If you are looking for some ASAP Rocky braids, then I got you. So I wanted to show you guys that my husband actually cuts my boy's hair. Um, and I'm going to give you guys a tutorial on what he does because he went to barber school, but he never barbered professionally. He just picked up the trade again about two or three months ago, and he's just been practicing cutting their hair. And I have to say he does a really good job. All right, so this hairstyle is very simple. This is probably one of the easiest hairstyles that you can ever do. Um, and, and it's very versatile. If you are familiar with Ace That Rock, even you know he wears his hair down, he wears it in a ponytail, you know. You can do a little design in the front and still make it look nice. The trick is to bricklay. And so what bricklay means is that all the parts don't line up together, all right? So um, I started the back row with three braids. And then this next row, I am going to align them to where the part starts in the middle of the bottom braid so that they, lines up, so they line up like bricks in a building. So as we move through this hairstyle, I'm going to try to show you exactly how you plait if you're new to this kind of braiding style. And I know it looks like I'm a little aggressive with my son's head, but that's because he wouldn't stay still. Every time I dropped his head forward, he'd bring it back up. It was pretty annoying, being that I'm doing this over a whole bowling ball. Because if you don't know, I am eight and a half months pregnant. So now we're going to get to the front part and you can pretty much see what I mean by brick lay. So the parts don't start all evenly. Okay. I start one part when I make a part for a new plait, that part starts in the middle of the plait behind it. Okay. So if to get the idea of what I'm saying, if it, if it helps you to, you can look at the way like a brick building is made and how the um, the bricks don't lay evenly one on top of the other.
Now, this is also the time where you're going to see how I start the plaiting process. This is very easy and it's like riding a bike. Once you know how to do it, you'll be able to do it for life. So what you do is you're going to divide this section into three parts. Now, because I'm right-handed, I'm going to grab the strand on the right and I'm going to grab the strand on the left. I'm going to go under the middle strand. Then I'm going to use my left hand and I'm going to bring the strand in the middle. I'm going to bring it down and under. And I'm just going to keep crossing it that way. Right? So once you bring the middle one down and under, you want to use that hand to grab the braid that is in your right hand. And you're going to keep moving with that same pattern going under the strands. Not over the strands, but under the strands. So now I'm going to transition my hand movement. So I'm going to grab the, the strand that's on the right. And I'm going to take that under the strand in the middle and grab the strand in the right. Okay, and then use my left hand to now grab the strand in the middle and now begin to take it under. Well, bring the other strand under, okay, while I continue braiding. I don't know if that makes a whole lot of sense. It's kind of hard to explain. It's Braiding is more of a, a hands-on kind of thing than it is really explaining, but I hope that makes sense. If not, obviously you can rewind the video and watch it again. And like I said, once you learn how to do it, it's like riding a bike. You will absolutely never ever forget how to do it. And here it is one more time. Three strands, the right, we're gonna take under, we're gonna grab the left, and we're just gonna keep doing that under passing of the strands until we decide that we wanna transition our hand. And then we're going to take the right and we're going to now rotate our hand in a new position, but continue the same pattern. And I absolutely love these braids because they're very versatile. Um, sometimes we wear them up, sometimes we wear them down. And yeah, you know, I mean, if you're into it, you can put beads on it. You can put the little Afro-centric accessories on it. You know, if that's how you like to wear your son's hair. But whatever you choose to do, it's very simple. It's very easy. It's easy to maintain. And yeah, one of my easy go-to hairstyles, ASAP Rocky Braids, you can never go wrong. Thank you guys for watching. We appreciate you guys. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will catch you on the next video.